Hey, new review today. Very excited to share with you this guy. I uh, did get this from thechosenprime.com. This is a new toy line called Archicore. Uh, very excited to get this. This is a 135th scale uh, figure. Uh, he's the Ursus Guard Captain, Orn Lodbrock. <laughs> so, yeah, this is a new toy line. Uh, very happy to get him. It's uh, these minifigures with lots of accessories, highly posable, and uh, they pilot... Uh, at least this guy pilots a mech that uh, transforms. So it's kind of a transformer and little figures and stuff. So that's right up my alley. So yeah, very excited to get him. There's some some product shots, some art on the back of Mr. Orn. This is a high spec, high posable stand. And there's uh, everything you get in there. So, so yeah, let's go ahead and open it up and take a look. Okay, so here we have Orn on his little stand, and he's got most of his accessories incorporated here. So he does come with this little stand here, and he's got little holes uh, he can stand into. I got him pretty much in the pose that um, that they show on the box, trying to emulate it as much as I can. And it looks pretty good. So pretty cool. So inside the box, you do get uh, some stuff you can't read. So that's great. Some lore, uh, that more of that same art, and of course some some instructions, some basic instructions on some stuff. So, so yeah, pretty cool. Uh, most of the accessories will fit right in the bottom here, so that is pretty cool. So yeah, and he does have several ports here. He, he's got one, you know, on his backside, uh, and one right here, one right here. So you could put it anywhere you want. But for now, let's just put the gun back there. And let's straighten them out, and we can take a better look at Orn here. So there he is, and he looks really good, actually. That face is pretty good. Um, I have, you know, heard some people compare these guys to uh, Warhammer uh, 40k, which I don't know any, anything about. <laughs> I don't play that or, or any of that, so don't really know myself but that's cool that's cool that that it, that it looks like that uh, i guess for those guys that are fans but yeah he looks uh pretty sweet all things considered and he's got uh several pieces that um uh, you'll see some, several accessories on him but uh nice uh paint right all over him and a good amount of detail yeah like i said that face is really good so yeah Pretty cool. Now, as far as the stand here, uh, it's uh, clear plastic, and there's uh, two, you know, three moving parts here. So, it does also come with another adapter. I guess you could put on there, so you know, it'll give you some more space. And it's, it doesn't. I didn't see anywhere in the instructions where these little clips. Uh, could fit in, but I'm assuming they'll hold some of his accessories. He he does come with a couple of extra things that just don't fit under here, which um, are his alternate hands. So he's got a two pointing hands and two open hands and two thumbs up. So yeah. That's a little plastic there. Oh, I can't seem to get it. Anyway, but yeah, pretty cool. Pretty cool. And he does come with a another grenade. So you can only store one of those under there. I guess I'll have to hold this one or something, but that's okay. You also get this giant axe, which looks freaking awesome. And some, uh, some really nice paint on there and just cool design cool design and they do have all the weapons have this little cutout section here as you can see right there so that they'll clip onto uh, certain things so but as far as the stand goes we can put this back the way it was like that and there's a little tab here that'll let you pop it out and the whole thing will fold in on itself like that so you have this little disc thing, and he can stand on that with the little holes on his feet. 
so that's something you could do as well. Oh, I can get the hole in the right place. There we go. Yeah, it looks pretty good. So, yeah, cool. So, as far as his weapons, he's got this really cool hammer. It looks like it could also be a gun or something. Like a gun and a hammer at the same time. I don't know. But, yeah, really nice. And a nice shield uh, that he can hold. So... And his, his hands are soft, so to allow you to, a little pliable, so you can put the weapons in there. Um, and this whole piece here, he's got two pieces for the cape. He's got this piece, uh, that, or three pieces rather, he's got this piece that'll kind of cover this up, this little section. And you can see he's got uh, hinges there, there, and then this whole thing will hinge up, so, and these are ball joints, so give you nice mobility with the cape uh, but that just fits into this little groove here and then if you want to take all that stuff off he's got this little gear system thing and uh, right now I've got him with a gun so and the gun and the holster just uh, you can fit into any of these holes if you really wanted to but but there's his gun oh, pretty cool See how he holds it. <laughs> yeah, that looks cool. What's cool with that gun? So, so yeah. <laughs> yeah, not bad. So, not bad at all. So, this piece will also come off. So, this whole piece will come off. And then you'll, you'll be able to put some different accessories if you want on there as well. So, so that's pretty cool. So, yeah, but that looks good the way it is. So, and with some of these pieces, you can, like these pieces right here, if I can get them out, it's hard to get stuff out of here when everything's tightly mashed in there. So this piece will hang off his butt, I believe right there so we'll kind of key in there and then that'll allow him to if I get it in there there we go it's just kind of a softer plastic as well that'll allow him to carry a couple of things like like the grenade so if you wanted to do that and the little armatures here those are hard to get out but let's see this one's come to me come on okay these little things uh they'll fit in here like uh, like this and they'll allow for some more options as well come on so then you could put uh, these little clips in there you know and that'll hold like his axe and do the other one. Oops. Do the other one. And then hold this hammer, you know, stuff like that. And then you could always put the shield right in here, you know, stuff like that. So, a lot of options for display, play that kind of thing so yeah pretty cool man let's just take this off here come on let go but 
yeah, so yeah, lots of options. I really dig it. Uh, lots of uh, play features and accessories and all that stuff. So lots, lots of lots to do. And it's nice that it'll um, really. This isn't even the main gimmick. It's really the uh, play features with regards to the mechs and stuff. But as far as articulation, he does his head go like real way down and up. It's kind of on a ball joint, so it'll turn all the way around. Got some cool tattooing on the side of his head there. And uh, this little shoulder pad will move, and his, well, kind of, you can see kind of how that works. And then this is kind of stiff, but it will move all the way up and back and forward. It's got a swivel there, elbow, and then the wrists are on little ball joints, and they do come out pretty easy. That's, that's how you want to replace them, so not hard at all. Uh, waist, you know, he's got all the swivel in action there, and uh, yeah, all that. Uh, knees, he's got a or uh, pips, he's got a ball joint there, he's got a double knee, so a knee, and then he's got a joint up there for even more bend. And the feet, the feet are great, the feet will allow you to, to do lots and lots of stuff, so yeah. Pretty cool, pretty poseable, and looking good. Okay, so let's just get, just so you can see really how big this guy is, let's get a couple of comparisons here. I've got um, an armored puppet um, mech that's a model kit, and uh, this is pretty small as well, um, but there he is next to that <laughs> next to an amiibo so real tiny <laughs> and uh a spy changer <laughs> so a transformer um that turns into a, a matchbox car so he's even smaller than that really little guy let's see here what else do i got um an old school mega block Spider-Man. So it's a little bigger than that. So, but yeah, really, really dig it, man. Lots of uh, accessories and options and uh, play features and all that. So I can dig it. I really do. I really do like it. So yeah, we'll see when the rest of the line comes out. Um, how the uh the mech works and all that and uh you know if he, this guy needs some friends or something so let's just check him out with the giant axe because that is rad yeah pretty cool <laughs> yeah i really dig it this guy is right up my alley. So yeah, like I said, I did get this from the uh, chosenprime.com. Go ahead and let me know what you think of the figure, what you think of the Archer Core line if you're interested. And I will see you guys on the next video.